Hey, this is Brian. Um, I want to talk about an email scam. This is uh, a fairly uh, insidious one because it relies on people to be afraid of, of something they may or may not have done. Um, this is a blackmail scam um, slash extortion. And I believe it to be 99.99% a bluff. And I'll explain why. And I'll also talk about some basic tips you really ought to know if you don't know them already um, about protecting your privacy online. I'm certainly not the expert, but I've learned my tricks over the years. Um, anyway, let's talk about this. I'll read this. Greetings. I have to share bad news with you. Approximately a few months ago, I gained access to your devices, which you use for internet browsing. After that, I have started tracking your internet activities. Okay, just about every device has internet access these days. This is kind of like, who the heck are you talking to? Here's the sequence of events. Some time ago, I purchased access to email accounts from hackers. Nowadays, quite simple to buy it online. That's true. Anyway, talk about in a second. I have easily managed to log on to your email account. One week later, I have already installed virus on devices you use to access your email. Uh, something missing there. <laughs> it was not hard at all. Okay, so that is true what they said about buying emails, email addresses online, 100%. Like, there's an entire industry based on trading personal information. Like, I don't care what your your country, your state, your province um, legislation uh, or laws are. If, if you sign up for a service online or even in person, even if they're prohibited from sharing your information with a third party, it, it's guaranteed it's gonna happen. Just assume that it happens anyway, but I'm, I'm very, very certain that happens despite whatever end user agreement there is about privacy. Some companies are actually serious about that, but oh, dude, that's the exception, not the rule. Okay, about the access. All right, so let's think really about how that would work, right? So if you can buy an email address online for somebody yeah that's the easy part but getting an email address plus password that's a little bit more difficult if you're not using some sort of two-factor authentication you need to just yeah that shouldn't even be a question you need to use two party or two-factor authentication um so what that'll do for you depending on the service it'll let you know when you know, someone's logged into your account from a device it didn't previously recognize, or, you know, they'll have to get an email code from you or, or, or uh, something from, uh, you know, like a text message. Um, yeah, that that's just not not going to happen if you if you do that smartly. Um, and that's not the end all be all. There's exploits out there that can kind of get around that. But, you know, that's a different level of skill. Um, Anyway, um, the virus aspect of it, yeah, it's true. They can put a Trojan on your machine, but it, they're not going to just be able to automatically push it to your machine. For one, if they did it via email account, no. They would have had to send you an email, and, and you would have had to click on a link or an attachment in the email by the way, it's a very stupid thing to do if you don't know who the sender is. Always, always, always check out the uh, the sender, right? Even if it looks legit, I'm using Outlook, um, and I can hover over this address, and I can actually see the actual address. I mean, there's ways to get around that too. Don't get me wrong, it's not infallible. Um, also pay attention to links like if they send a link in your email like look at the domain like what i mean by domain as you know as in like 
the thing before the dot com or dot org or dot edu, um, you know, like if it's like Best Buy, it'll be like a Best Buy dot com, you know, like a no reply at Best Buy dot com or an Amazon dot com. Don't be fooled. Like there's Microsoft scams out there all the time about, oh, we suspect there's suspicious activity on your account or something along that lines. And it looks almost like a Microsoft um, email account. It's not. Um, anyway, um, there would have to be another step there. So this is why always you need to be diligent about um, verifying who the sender is and what you're clicking on. And that's really dangerous to small devices. Don't click on stuff. Dude, it's not just old people, it's stupid kids too. <laughs> I mean you young adults. I'm not kidding. You guys do some really stupid stuff with your devices. Anyway. Um, so, it goes on to say, I recorded you through your cam satisfying yourself. I also have no issue with at all making them available for public access, leaked and exposed all data. I guess you don't want that to happen. <laughs> Obviously he doesn't know some of the people that exist in this world today. <laughs> He'd probably be giving them like advertisement. Anyway. <laughs> all right, so shaming, guilt, you know, like what these, you know, this is mostly a men thing. I don't, although this could pertain to women also. Basically, implying you're like looking at stuff you shouldn't have and having a little um, um, whack whack time. Say, aren't you the two boys I caught whacking off in my tool shed? <laughs> All right, it's Beavis and Butthead re uh, reference. Anyway, um,. Yeah, so that's another thing all of its own. Like, you should always assume that your camera is seeing you all the time. Like, don't be stupid about that. Like, if you have a webcam, uh, unplug it when you're not using it. If you have one on your laptop, put a tape or a lens cover over it if you're not actively using it. Tablets, put something over both sets of cameras, the front facing and the rear facing. Even if you are doing this stuff, dude, cover your camera. Okay, don't use your cell phone because nobody's covering their stupid cell phone camera if you do as this person implies. Anyhow, um, I, I can guarantee you if, if this, this, person doesn't have that information this is just a spam email that they have like they, they've written some sort of python code they've got a list of uh, of email addresses and basically they just execute a command and it and it like puts this message in an email format and then logs in through a faceless account or or something that's already set up on their endpoint and 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 just like iterates through a list of emails and sends the same message over and over again. It's complete BS. Okay. Let's settle it this way. You transfer 750 US dollars to me and once the transfer is received, I will delete all this dirty stuff right away. After that, we will forget about each other. I also promise to deactivate and delete all the harmful software from your devices. Trust me, I keep my word. It's a fair deal and the price is relatively low considering that I have been checking out your profile and traffic for some time by now. If you don't know how to purchase and transfer Bitcoin, you can use any search engine. Basically saying, go look it up. Okay, this is where the use of social media is important. Like, don't brag, you're stupid if you do. Don't show off on social media. Um, this is one surefire way to make yourself a target. $750, that amount, I don't know about all places, but I, I, it's probably, you know, that amount just, just because it flies under the radar. If it was above a certain threshold, it would get more serious attention. 
um, you know, you can, there's various services you can report this kind of fraud to, and, and they're really not going to do anything about it, uh, even if it was a higher, well, I imagine if it gets a certain point, they will, but yeah, don't, just don't count on that. Um, about the Bitcoin wallet, um, whatever, uh, he gives a hash here. Um, I don't know if that's legit. I'm not even bothering entertaining to look that up. Um, then he says, uh, you have several days, two to three, in order to make the payment uh, from the moment you open this email. So don't be tricked into that. Um, I have, uh, this went to my junk email folder and, uh, you know, Outlook, um, it, yeah, there are exploits out there, um, but if they have a red receipt uh, on that, which I guarantee Outlook has handled that and they actually haven't received a red receipt on this, um, it, it is possible for, for that to slip through the cracks, just so you know. But this has been sitting in my email um, junk mail folder for a while, and I, I've got probably like three or four of them in the last couple months that have been like this. It, dude, if you got info on me, do it. Shut up otherwise. <laughs> this is a scam, and, and I, I, yeah. And it says, don't try to contact me. Various security services won't help you. Formatting the disk and destroying device won't won't help either. Your data is already on a remote server. Um, don't be mad at me. Everyone has their own work. I will monitor your every move until I get paid. Yeah, right. No, they're not doing that. Um, now, that is true. If somebody, this, this is a legit scam, and they've already captured what they intended to blackmail with you with, yeah, that absolutely makes sense. Um, but again, this would have a heck of a lot more meaning if there was a screenshot in there. Um, so I can say with confidence that this is stupid. <laughs> um, you know, and they say, yeah, keep your agreement, I'll keep mine, you'll never hear from me again, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, of course not. They're going to take your money and they're going to laugh like, ah, that idiot fell for it. And, and truthfully, yeah, if you fell for this, I hope you learned your lesson. Um, but it also, if you've never seen this before, um, this can be kind of scary. Like, <laughs> in, in so many ways, I mean, you, you're thinking like, well, what do they have? I mean, you know, it's funny. It's like, oh, you've been monitoring my internet activity. Like, well, okay, so you've been watching me look at like Jeep parts and airplanes and stuff. Big deal. So? <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, um, I I know I kind of talked down about some some things that are are you know in my opinion very crucial for for maintaining security and privacy. Um, they, and those are basic things. I'm by no means an expert, and there are exploits out there. One of these days, I'm sure I'm going to get caught up in. Um, but uh, you know, just just stay uh, 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 vigilant. Do your due diligence. Make sure you're looking at links before you click on them. Um, don't take this kind of stuff seriously. Now, if it does have like screenshots in that, go to the police, because blackmail and extortion are serious crimes. Um, at least in my country, it is. And if they do that, they are the scum of the earth. And there's a special place they will burn for this later. Um, I, I highly doubt that the person who sent this email actually has that info. And, uh, you know, honestly, if that were to happen to me, um, you know, I probably wouldn't care. There's nothing I've been looking at that ain't. <laughs> that's all. That's all that unusual, man. So uh, yeah, good luck with that. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, anyway, be safe. Take care. Be careful.